What's up, people? Punch here. So I was taking a look at some early access games on Steam, and I seen this new one that came out a couple days ago called Souls of White Star. And this game has a lot of stuff going for it, not just a card game, but also a strategy game, space exploration, hex grid, and I think like a turn-based strategy game. So the hour that I put into it was essentially doing the tutorial, knowing what cards do what, what spaceships do what, and you could also right click on the spaceship, yours or the enemies to see what they do, their attack, their health, whichever it is. And I kind of understand the game a little bit more as you try to progress and play. It is also a roguelike and this is the demo, this is not the full game. That being said, for about like an hour or so of play, I am loving the hell out of this. Essentially, the mechanics of the game goes as follows. You have your hand that's currently the bottom portion of the screen to where you have a common, blue, purple, or yellow, which would probably be legendary, to be able to draw a specific amount of cards for however amount of data you have inside the uh, green bar. The green bar is essentially how many cards you can draw or how many action points you actually have to move your ships, do an attack, and so on. You could also allow your ships to go farther by uh, holding down the right mouse button on the um, cards in hand and then clicking on your ship so that it can move farther. You could also give them more defense, more attack, being able to use special support cards like a gas strike or a sunray, and it'll combine and blow up and make explosions that they would go into and take fire damage. The game has, like I said, a ton of stuff going for it. Not to mention it's not just a card game and strategy game, but also when you get through the roguelike elements, it's also a base builder to where you can build like gas cylinders or stations to allow for generation of power and so on and so forth. The game also has like, I think it has different modifiers so that if you want to make it harder, have different ships have different things, be able to gain more action points as you progress. Like I said, the only thing you're really doing in this game is you're trying to protect one thing and it's called your pylon. Once the pylon is gone and destroyed, the game is over and you lose the run. But if you keep it alive long enough and get past these different areas, it's going through like a story mode. And with the story mode will be a bunch of dialogue between some of the characters talking to each other, which they're not in English translation, but rather Mandarin. So when you do play the game, whether it be the demo or the main game, you're going to have to switch between them since Mandarin would be the first language of the game. So if you want to make sure that you're on the right language, go to the launcher that you see here and it'll be Mandarin or English. Make sure it changes on the very bottom before you get the red bar and go ahead and change it there. But essentially the roguelike elements in this game is that you can be able to make a black market to be able to buy additional cars, more powerful attacks, more increased shields, maybe some legendary stuff. And like I said earlier, when it comes down to combat, you have the different tiers of the different cards from common, blue, purple, and yellow. And then you have support cards that would help you out in dealing with like higher targets, more fleets, and being able to combo those cards to do more damage. In closing of the video in this game so far, if people want to try something new and different that has a bunch of new things inside it, though it does have some issues with the language and some of the changes in the settings, I still think it's absolutely worth trying out. Plus it's free. So a free demo is worth giving it a go. That being said, I'm going to probably pick it up for the $15, $16 that it is because it is fun and I'm still playing it. And I wanted to show this off because I do love card games like this. When they give you a bunch of options, give it like roguelike elements to make the replayability better, it's absolutely worth trying out and it's a great game. But anyway, I've been One Nut Punch and this has been another video. Thanks for watching as usual and I'll see you all later in the next one. Thank you.